All right, everyone, we are here at the car wash convention here in Las Vegas, and we're gonna check out some of the booths. So we'll start off with one of the most obscure brands that I've never heard of, Asia Wash. This is their system. Looks a lot like an Istabal. Looks like they use Fava Grossa material too. That guy's picking up the uh, filament. I'll grab a piece. It actually uses filament on the top brush, or sorry, the bottom, the bottom of the brush. Let's see. I think. Okay. You just press the start button. I wouldn't want that in my wash, hopefully that can be adjusted. I like the color scheme. I think that next is the blower. Oh no, it's a sim simulator drink. So it is a dryer. It's interesting.
that's a full wash cycle. And here's the car after that. Looks just the same as it was before. I believe that this is their conveyor. Just like STI. So yeah, that's about it for the Asia Wash booth. So now let's take a look at another booth. Alright, so here is the Motor City Washworks booth. Here is the pay station. Seems like it runs off of Windows 10. Yep. <laughs> some sort of camera. They have a gate there. I think they're showing off their uh, belt conveyor. I think this is new. Here's the LEDs for the top brush. Ultrasonic right there. Here's the wheel brush. Blasters. Some entrance facing mini wraps. This looks like a bowling ball in there. Seems like they've got some triple foam going on there. Exit facing. I forget what this one's called. We've got some. Motor City Sudzer, I think it's called. They have a uh, entrance facing Motor City mini wrap and dual counterweight top brush combo here with these rockers. Feels like just thick cloth. They've got some ceramic here on these arches. Then they've got the dryers. And they have a uh, Shelby Mustang here underneath the buff and dry machine. So that's it for. Oh, actually, no, that's not it. Let me go over here. Alright, so this is the tall version of the Motor City Mini Wraps. It's a Motor City Mini Wrap and dual counterweight combo. Here's a blue counterweight. If I go under here, I can swing it. So now that's it for the Motor City booth. Now let's go check out another one. Alright, so here we have the American Car Wash Supply booth. Here's their entrance sign. This is their conveyor that they're showing off. Here's a surface conveyor. And now if I go back over here, maybe we'll take a look at their actual wash equipment. So here's their entrance wraps. We've got an air hose disconnected up there. I have two sets of rockers right here and a top brush. Then we have some front to back bitters and some van brushes. And that's about it for the American Car Wash Supply uh, booth. So now let's go check out another one. All right, so here's another obscure one that I've never heard of. It's Barracuda Touchless Car Wash System. It's a uh, it's sort of like the same concept as a Bellinger Condor. These two arms are synchronized and it will, as it goes around the back, it'll fold in, and then as it goes around the front, it'll fold in there too. So, fairly similar. Here's the sign there. And if we go back here, there's the... Well, you gotta hook up this, this, and this. And that is the Barracuda Touchless Wash.
All right, so we've got something really cool in the Autobrite section. Look at this. It's a little Autobrite scale model watch. There's a view from in the top. Now let's go look at the exit. And there's the dryer. That's absolutely awesome. Alright, so this is day one of filming. And I am going to finish this day off with the Tommy booth. Which has some pretty cool innovations, as we'll see in a minute. So here they got their pre-silk arch, their trifle arch. This is something new that I've never seen before. It's a uh, triple turbo blaster sort of set here. And this is actually one of the areas that I ran into Ryan Essenberg, so that's pretty cool. Here's their reverse huggers with their car light on it. They got some rockers there. Now this is pretty cool. I talked to Ryan Essenberg about this, and apparently he has a patent on this right here. And these are actually air bubbles designed to help the emitter not from getting ca caught in any rear view mirrors or uh, rear windshield wipers. So that's pretty cool. And then if we go through here, they have some wraps with their cloth on it. There's one last look at the emitter. Here's the high pressure rinse drying agent, spot free, and the Tommy dryers. And this is a little demonstration of the Tommy transporter belt. You can actually move it. So I think that's pretty cool. So yeah. How you doing? And that is that for day one of filming. See you guys tomorrow for day two. All right, so it is now day two of filming and we are at the Mark 7 booth, checking out their tunnel. So first, this is the drying section. If I put my hand in it and apply too much pressure, it'll fly out for safety. Same thing with this top brush. If you want to look like what it looks like when it's off, here it is. There's the brushes there. And now here's the four brush wrap section. They have some van brushes scattered with the wraps. And the top brush there. Let's take a look at this first. Same deal here. Here's the top brush. And then, let's see, where is it you stop? There it is. There's one of them. Here's what it looks like when it's off. This is Fava Grossa material. There's the wheel brushes. High pressure arch. Look in there, you can see some high pressure manifolds. And then here's the entrance arch. Now let's look at their in bay. This is their, uh, let's see, what is this? This is their smart care, I think. Okay, yep. Smart care. Uh, 
have the upper echelon, they walk. They can tilt to the side like that. Or be like normal. Or be like not normal again. This is for cleaning behind rear window visors. And then we'll go back here. This guy will turn off. There's the Favagrosa material here. You can see it's like in impaired strands. And then these are wheel scrubbers again. I like how drive that we have that set up as a drive but on a And there's the complete cycle of this one. And then we have this one. It says the toughest circuit, or sorry, surface protectant. It's pretty much the same one, just with some different colors. So that's it for the Mark 7 booth. All right, so here we are at the NCS booth. And to start off with, let's take a look at the tunnel right here. seems like they're using Electric Express Car Wash brand. There's some CTAs right there. Here's a uh, RS-1000 top brush. We have a wheel boss down here. Some magnum arches. Some uh, medium side washers, I can't remember what, those, what these are exactly called. We've got a van brush here, some wraps, another van brush right there. Here they have their Magnum Force high pressure arch. And here's their ceramic seal arch. Got some sonic brushes on the side there. Then got another top brush. Rain X Arch. Stream Shining X Arch. And some dryers. And they've got a uh, Evo Shine brush right here. And that's it for the tunnel. Back over here, they have something pretty special. This is my dad, but he's not the thing that's special. Oh, excuse me. They have this, which is a little uh, conveyor belt thing here. A conveyor and a uh, Z frame combo unit. Top brush there, no side brushes, and then they have some IDC dryers. So, yeah, that's about it for the tunnel side of the uh, NCS booth. Now let's go look at the other side. All right, and here's the other end of the booth. The booth, the booth. They just have a soft gloss Max Five here. Here's the panels though. These ones don't open, these ones do. Here's what the inside of it looks like. Down there it's locked. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Here's the HMI. And yeah, that's about it for the NCS booth. Now let's move on to another booth. Okay, so here's the AVW booth. Right here they have a uh, AVW conveyor with a tire shiner on it. 
right here we have the detail conveyor belt which moves very slowly for good reason though Here's the actual equipment. Here they have a uh, pre-sew guard, it looks like. Uh, and they have a uh, new dual counterweight top brush. I believe they just unveiled it here. And then here's our wheel blasters. And then, yep, there's the top brush again. If you swing it, and then if I go around the side here. Over here, they have a van brush here. A turned on wraparound. Another van brush. It also looks like it's a rocker brush at the same time. And a turned off wraparound. And then right here, they have their uh, mitter, mitter curtain. And then right here is, is uh, their rocker brush. And then there's one that's off. Here's the drying chamber. They have some uh, buff and dry brushes. Here's one that's on. And here's one that's off. So, yeah, that's it for the AVW booth. Now let's go check out another booth. All right, so here's the Istable booth. This is the Istable tunnel that's gonna be in the US. This isn't even out yet, I don't think. Uh, but there's this is their top brush. Very similar to Wash Tex. Then there's their brushes. Here's their wraparounds. It's two sets. Here's some arches. And then there are dryers, which are made by Premier. So, that's it for the Istanbul Tunnel. And over here, they have an in bay. I'm gonna snag a bag. Here's the Istanbul, it's an M Wash Pro. Good. I thought I'd throw my two cents. Hey, you heard it. Thanks there for jumping in. You know what? Speak up. And there's our top brush. Side brushes. Side brushes. Top. Dryer thing. And then the side brushes. So that's it for the Istanbul booth. Now let's go check out another one. So, here's the ICS booth. We have some arches here. And apparently, if you buy it with their wraparounds, you get a free arch. Seems like a pretty good deal to me. We have uh, two top brushes up here. We have a mitter right here. Three segments. And then here's their wraps. So yeah, then they've just got some pay stations over there. So that's it for the ICS booth. Now let's go check out another booth. So here we have the NS booth. And to start off, we have something pretty cool. Here's their sensor, falling onto a big piece of uh, car. Then it falls into here, where it gets doused off by water, and then re, uh, recirculated. And then here, we have one of the wraps, their brushes, or their rocker brushes, and the top brush. And then right here, we can do this. So, yeah. And then right here, Oh, 
thought that it would be on for some reason, but it's not. It's interesting. And here's the part where they have lamb's cloth. These are wheel brushes. And here's their mitter. Feels like a soft teddy bear, which is bad. Because it likes to catch dirt. But here it is on their wrap. So I have to say, it's very soft. Wouldn't scratch your paint if it was new. But these things hold on to dirt. Well, at least the lamb's cloth version. Go through the brushes. Huh? Go through the brushes. Oh. But from there. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, there's the wraps. There's some arches right here. There's our dryers. Made by Premier. And then here's one of their dryers. Showing off the uh, closable little air gate here. It's called the Spark Gate. And then here's their drying chamber. Have a little litter there. And then the drying brushes. So yeah, that's about it for the NS booth. Now let's go check out another one. Alright, so now we're at the OPW booth. Here's our laser wash 360. There's some arms spinning right here. This is a new in innovation they've just released this year. Just stuck a lot of LED strips on their arch. Here's the tandem surf line. And back here, they have a freestyler. We've seen these a lot, so nothing really special right here. Here they've got a condor, again, nothing all that special. Then right here's a tunnel. We've got a conveyor here. Here's a spin light brush. Here's the tail brushes. Here's the top brush. Wrap or wraps. Another rocker brush. Excuse me. We got some uh, van brushes. Some arches. Blowers right here. These are new. Their, these are their new legend arches. And this is their auto towel. It's a buff and dry brush based off of spin light technology. It's got some dryers up there that blow through these tubes. And it blows onto these uh, little cloth things to dry them off. So that's about it for the OPW booth. Now let's check out the Sunny's booth. Alright, so let's start off with Pico. Here they've got, well, here they're promoting Sugar Wash, or Sh Sugar Express Car Wash. And here they've got a Pico dual top brush unit with rockers, fan brushes, and wraps. Here they have showing off their grill brushes. It goes all the way in here then folds out. Here they've got their Pico High Pressure Arch with Omni. Some entrance wraps attached to a uh, front to back emitter and rocker frame with exit wraps right here. We've got a Ceramic X3 Arch, Pico dryers, and then a Pico Buff and Dry unit with brush comm material. So, that's it for the Pico side, now let's go look at the actually Sunny's side. Alright, so here's their Sunny's equipment. 
again, Sugar Express car wash. Here's their wash options. And then to start off with, they've got a foam bath here. Entrance facing Sunny's Wraps electric variant. We've got a uh, front to back and rocker combo with some poodle brushes underneath it. It's got some exit wraps right here. Some sonic brushes, I think they are, can't remember. We've got a top brush here that's not turned on. Seal wax with a top brush. It's actually running. And they've got a graphene thing here. Some Sunny's dryers and the Sunny's buff and dry. So that's about it for the uh, Sunny's booth. Now let's go check out the Broadway booth. Here's one of my favorite brands. 
awesome. I mean, she'll never, she'll never showing off their new EV1. Yeah. Using rear brush. Those who have a keen eye will notice something that's missing. And something that's new. That's right, they got rid of the oscillators and put just turbo nozzles right here. They also got rid of the fiberglass panel and replaced it with stainless. Here's the front brushes, some arches, tire shiners, and the dryers. These are made by Premier. So yeah, and it's also housed in an Autech building. And now I'm going to see if they will allow me to fire it up. Ready. that whoa take me to move in look at that all right check this out There we go. All right, and here we have the Oasis booth. Here's their Eclipse. If anyone wanted to use it as a decal, there you go. If we go to this side, it says Typhoon. Now it's finishing up. And then they have the Typhoon going again. So there's the Eclipse. And then if we go over here, they have the X1 being shown off. Here's the arm. Here's the design. So there's the X1. Over here they have the bay wash. And some pumps. Here's the I5. There's a light bar right here. Here's what it looks like when it's in. There's a top brush. There's what it would look like if it was saying drive forward. There's a spray nozzle there. Some shower heads. Mr. Foamer, I'm pretty sure. There's the rear brushes. So, yeah. There's the Baywash i5. And if I go back on over here, they have their XP that they're showing off over here. So let's go take a look at that. 
Here's the XP. Right back here, I have a video all about the XP. So yeah, that's it for the Oasis booth. Now let's go check out another one. All right, and here's the DNS booth. They have their pump right here. Congratulations to this year's booth award winners. The winner of this year's most exciting new exhibitor award is Mammoth Construction. The winner of this year's Brian Cavill Best Food in the Mid-Size category is Simon Ives. Oh, really? The winner of this year's Brian Cavill Best Food in the Large category is NCS. I saw that coming. Congratulations to all of you on a great show. Here's the IQ Max. It's a semi-wash. I have a crap ton of these. It's awesome. And right here they have a DNS pay station. It's awesome. Welcome to our car wash. Please select an option from the list on the screen. Please select a car wash by pressing one of the service buttons on the screen. Would you like to upgrade to our wash club program? Select the payment method or insert those into the bill acceptor at any time. Please insert card fully into the card here. Then follow the instructions on screen. You are now ready to enter the car wash. Please proceed by following the directions on the signs ahead. And thank you again for your car wash purchase. And there's their pay station. Here's another one of their pumps. And here's their IQ 2.0 touch free. And that's it for the DNS booth. Now let's go check out the wash roll booth. Here's their new Razor double barrel. There's their panel there. Here's our bug shot. They have some Spectrum Ray Plus. So yeah, and then back here they have a new innovation. This is really cool. The cleaning product is now being applied to your vehicle. The Profile Apex, or the Apex Profile, don't know. It's like a play on the uh, European style wash. We have a wheel scrubber on that one and a touch free on that one. Oh. probably contouring the car, you know, with the high-pressure spray. You like car washes? Yes, I do. Yeah? I'm filming one of them. 
got you into liking car washes? Well, car washes. Yeah? <laughs> They're all, they were always fascinating to me. Yeah? Yeah. Just from going through them or your parents? Just from going through them. Yeah? The whole reason that I'm here at the car wash show is me. Really? Yeah. I'm just an enthusiast, but it's inspired my parents to possibly start one. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's cool. And this is a really cool machine that you got here. Is this a new innovation? Yes, this is new this year. Awesome. Yeah. Do you know if there will be any coming to Utah? There will be plenty coming to Utah. We have distributors in Utah that you can buy from if you're ever interested in. All right. Do you have a distributor chart? Yes, we do. Awesome. Would you like to see it? Yes, I would. Just a minute. There's the complete wash cycle. Here's one good look at the machine. It's just showing off. Please drive forward. Please place car in park. Cleaning product is now being applied to your vehicle. Scrubbing the wheels. I'm gonna snag something. Uh, it's mine. So yeah, that's that for the Apex profile. Got a sign there. If we go over here, got some pumps. Here's their profile max. Just sort of regular profile. Nothing special about this one. They've got their uh, special dryers right here with a bunch of lights on them. So, yeah, then we go over here, where they have their regular Razor and their Razor XR7, and they show you inside the machine. So this is the XR7 that we're looking at right here. And then here's the regular Razor. Good look inside that. Then they've got a Razor Edge with onboard dryers. There's a look inside there. And here's the arm. There's a look inside it. And yeah, that's about it for the wash roll booth. Now let's go check out another one. All right, and here we have the Pettit booth. They just have an Acutrack 360 there. They have some signs, some pumps there. They're showing off their uh, high pressure manifolds. Oh no, I'm just a car wash enthusiast. Gotcha. We all got a lot of stuff on the YouTube page. Okay. Alright, and there's the pit booth. Alright, so I am so sorry guys, I totally forgot to film the Coleman Hanna booth, but don't worry, um, California Car Washes and More came to the trade show as well, and he filmed the Coleman Hanna booth as well as some other booths that I didn't film, so if you want to see those, go check out his video, link will be in the description, but that is it for the Car Wash Show 2023, thank you guys for watching, and happy washing!